So the voices are still in Japanese. This demo for Metal Gear Solid 2 originally came packaged with the separate, completely separate, but still Konami game, Zone of the Enders. Zone of the Enders doesn't have much to do with Metal Gear Solid, but they were both produced by Hideo Kojima. And I have to say, I bet that a lot of people bought Zone of the Enders because it had the Metal Gear Solid 2 demo in it. Seems like a waste of money to drop like $50 or $60 or whatever the game cost at the time. Primarily to get a demo of a game that'll be releasing in a year. But, people did it. But, Zone of the Enders itself was actually a pretty good game in and of itself, so you didn't really lose out on that deal. Oh, everybody's speaking Japanese. I'm going to skip through these cutscenes because I'm trying to prevent these demos, these videos on these demo disc games from being too long. And if I remember correctly, this is a rather long demo. What these... Okay, so here we are playing the game now. Skipping a lot. I don't know if bandage. Oh yeah, that was a thing you had to do. These graphics are really impressive for the PlayStation 2, or at least they were at the time. That whoops. <laughs> they were really impressive. Why is he bleeding? <laughs> I don't like I shot him. When the PlayStation 2 was first unveiled, it had a, um... There was a... Or rather, when it, when it was first unveiled, Sony made a lot of promises about what it was going to be able to produce. And sort of, they oversold it a bit. They made it out like it was gonna create, like, Toy Story-level graphics and all that kind of stuff, which it wasn't capable of. Then when the thing launched, a lot of people were just very unimpressed with what the machine actually ended up doing. You had games like Tekken Tag Tournament, which in a way looked real good, but um, didn't quite live up to what the games were supposed to. You had games that, was, that when the PlayStation 2 were first unveiled, had a... Uh, damn it, it did it again. Didn't quite get away, bro. Games like Armored Core, um, they showed off screenshots when the game was first announced that looked incredible. The game came out and it didn't look bad or anything, it just wasn't, uh, wasn't what they had claimed it would be. Other games were similarly disappointing, so people would wonder, like, hey, you know what, PlayStation 2, I mean, looked great and all, but doesn't really look better than the Dreamcast, which had been out for a year already, and had, um, pretty much, I mean, people loved the Dreamcast. I thought it was a little overrated, but people really loved the Dreamcast. Then, we started to see this game. This game had like an E3 video that they showed that looked absolutely incredible. And people are like, no way. There's no way that game looks like that. The PlayStation 2 can't do that. And, well, PlayStation 2 did that. Ah, shit. Hey. <laughs> 
<laughs> Idiots. <laughs> so, simple. I mean, it still looks good now. Of course, I'm running at a higher resolution than yeah, the game actually ran at. But it looks impressive still in terms of how the um, how the character models are clean and the environment doesn't it doesn't look terrible or anything like that. The yeah, funny thing, they packed this demo with a whole lot of detail. Like you shoot this ice bucket, and if you stand here and just watch the ice cubes, they'll melt. They don't turn into puddles or anything like that, but they will just disappear. All of these bottles also break them, and the drink spills. It's it's funny. I <laughs> see the ice cubes are just evaporating. <laughs> Wrong one. Of course, the game doesn't quite play like a. Mo oh, shadows. Real time shadows. I'd say it was Metal Gear Solid 2, as well as, say, Silent Hill 2. Which really, like, gave you a good forward look on what the PlayStation 2 is going to be capable of, because both games looked incredible. Both games were, well, they're both Konami games. Eventually, you'd get a lot of other games like God of War or Final Fantasy X and all of that, which, which really showed off what the PlayStation 2 could do. But at the time, this was... So, such an advanced thing that people didn't think it was possible. That camera is positioned terribly. <laughs> Nothing up here. Where does the other side go? Oh, they, they got it blocked off. Oh, there's something down here. Up oh, rations. It's a weird sound effect. Listen to that. Sounds like the PlayStation uh, 1 sound effect. Oh, speaking of being packed with details. <laughs> so stupid. You could use it to distract guards, but, like, it doesn't really help any. Yeah, yeah, don't focus on the security camera. You got a guard here. You can hold these guys up and they'll... <laughs> Shake it! <laughs> chaff grenade. The chaff grenade will disable the security camera. But I think you can shoot the security cameras out in this demo with the... Okay, yeah, if you aim it well, you can shoot at the security camera. You gotta get a better grind to catch up, people. Okay. He didn't get his, uh... He didn't get his call all the way out. They're going to send somebody in to check him. They'll find him, so I'm going to have a fight on my hands. <laughs> oh, there's a... Uh...
<laughs> There's another room here I wanted to show. If I can get into it. This room here. Ah, I've got a cardboard box. <laughs> this room's full of... Uh, if you shoot the flower bags, the flower will spread through the room. If you shoot the fruits or the melons or whatever the hell these things are, they will... They'll just sort of split apart. There's not a lot of food on here for a ship of this size. I know an oil tanker doesn't have an enormous crew. But there's like a million marines on this motherfucker. You should have more flour. <laughs> the old cardboard box trick. Snake will never... Snake, like, never changes his tactics. <laughs> the orange. The orange. <laughs> All right, no one's coming in here. <gasps> the control scheme's a little awkward. All right, it's not working. Maybe I need a better gun. But look at that. Melon! You wouldn't see anything better than this in a game until, like, Half-Life 2. Now, this game, um... Unfortunately, the full game is not chock full of these kinds of details. There are some when you reach, um... Stupid. There are some details like this in the big shell, which is later on in the game. But the fact is that it's not quite as detailed. Yeah, we're cinematic. If I'm going to watch any cinematic, it's going to be the one with Olga. This uh, tanker, for those that aren't... Uh, aren't queued in, is a... It's, it's an oil tanker, but it's not... It's not full of oil, it's actually got a Metal Gear in it, which is a large um, battle tank armed with ballistic missiles. And it's going to be tested out somewhere, <laughs> I guess off Bermuda. Snake is here to photograph it, so he can leak it to the press. <laughs> Alright, that's we got an this. We're gonna have a boss fight. First boss fight of the game, and it's actually a little bit weird because <laughs> because yeah. Thanks. Thanks for all of this unnecessary information, Olga. Most of the boss fights in this game are really, are really, um, cartoony, and, like, the enemies seem to have, like, superpowers, like, vamp or fortune. But this one, she's just running around with a pistol. A machine pistol. Jeez. Japanese voice acting, I mean, it's, I know it's a di just a different style than like American or Western voice acting, but it comes across as uh, a little awkward to my ear. Really, Olga? Oh, we're in a different phase of the fight. Okay, so she'll do this, and then you gotta shoot it away. I think in the final game, she will... Oh yeah, that's a good idea. She'll aim this at me. 
and then it'll, like, the lens flare will blind you, so you have to, um, you have to shoot it out, but I think in the demo she doesn't do it. I played this demo, like, a million fucking times, because it's Metal Gear Solid 2, and... Yeah, great job, Olga. <laughs> Yeah, hide behind pallets. It's a great idea. Oh, shit. <laughs> that was not gonna hit me at all. <laughs> One more. What? There we go. I wonder if those all over her was where I had shot her. Yes, it was. Her eyes are open. Are you sure she's not dead? <laughs> she's full of this shit. やつらがメタルギアをスネーク。実は今回の新型メタルギアのネタなんだけど、誰こりなんだ。偽物は終わりだ。お前は。年を取ったな。なおみな僕時代の対象プログラムを入れなかったらもう名付ける。Easing <笑> story bits. That was a Metal Gear Solid 2 demo disc that came with Zone of the Enders. People probably paid, played it more than the Zone of the Enders game itself. It's a hell of a way to sell a game, tease people another game. But uh, Konami pulled it off. That was back when they knew how to make games. <laughs> oh, Konami, where have you gone wrong? Since this was only about 19 minutes, let's... Oh, what's this going to do? What, do I go to a website? Oh, look at that. Yeah, I'm not I'm not doing that. It's probably not even a thing anymore. What is... Oh. Ba, 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 ba. This... This stuff. Steam pipes, holdups, threaten for items, shake body, fire extinguisher, jump down from hanging. There's lots of stuff you could do. It was, they really, especially for the era, offered you a lot of options when it came to what you could do. Way more than in Metal Gear Solid 1. Um... Anyway, that's it right there. Thanks for watching.